say thank you to Dr. Faz and to you for putting up such a wonderful event and giving me an opportunity to speak. Most honored and humbled. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, this has been an amazing event. My last speaker, Mr. Asif Rasul said, you do not have to stand behind, do not stand on the sidelines, just jump in the water and jump, right? And swim. But how do you do that? As the niche navigator, I'm Munira Zahabi, all the way from Chicago, Illinois, want to share this with you. Six months ago, my brother, he lives in the UK, was laid off from his job in the bank. He was a banking specialist and because the doors were closed on banks, they had to let people go. He was one of those people. He came home feeling very, very dejected, very sad, very tired. He felt like he was doing nothing for his family. I had a very intimate conversation with him and he cried. I wasn't there to hold his hand, but I knew what he felt. I knew what he wanted in life and he felt miserable. He felt sad. How many of you are in that boat? How many of you feel that whatever you do in life isn't propelling you forward? See, many people are anxious to improve their circumstances. They are not anxious to improve themselves. We try every day to fix this for ourselves, but we don't go ahead. This was a quote by James Allen in his book, As the Men Think It. And it has spoken very loud volumes to me, partly because we try to change the world. We try to change families, but we don't start with ourselves. If you look and if you haven't watched it, I would highly recommend that you watch the movie Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda is a character that helps everybody else, but he loves to eat. And to get to the food, he will do everything necessary to get his stomach from rumbling. That's what stomachs do. They rumble because they're hungry. My words of wisdom to you is that you all have skills. Did you know that the human mind actually has 60 to 80,000 thoughts every single day? If you haven't paid attention to it, I'm sure you'll start pay, paying attention to it now. The reason this happens is that you are tuned in to a frequency. Rem <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you remember the old radios we have? especially the ones on our mental piece or the ones in our car where we would have to actually dive into the frequency to hear the radio to make sure that the favorite song that we love wasn't just passing along. Well, that song, that radio, that frequency is what you have to tune into. I am here with the Eve message, right? Those thoughts that you get, every single day, those 80,000 thoughts a single day could be that one idea that you're waiting for. Everybody tells you to jump in the water. Nobody tells you how to swim. Nobody tells you that it's going to be easier. Nobody in this summit has told you to not take the step forward, but they have asked you to take the step forward. But how do you do that? So let me make this easier for you. I want you to take the Eve principle and take and think about it. See those thoughts that you get every single day. You may be in the bathroom, you may be in the kitchen, you may be taking the kids to school, who knows. But those thoughts, if you really pay attention, are telling you something. That's the divine way. Your God, your Allah, your 
whoever you belong to, whichever Christian, whichever denomination, the Christians, the Jews, the Hindus, the Muslims, whoever you pray to is sending you a message. You have to tune into that frequency to understand what he's trying to tell you. So the first thing is that idea that he has come to you. You need to conceive that idea just like you conceive a baby. You take that and you start thinking about how you are going to make this into a product. You know, Dr. Fass started this movement, Learn to Grow Rich. He didn't think about how he was going to do it. He just put it into place because he had an idea. He started out with maybe a podcast or maybe just talking to two friends. And this idea became a summit today. So just like that, I'm asking you to take that idea and put some love into it and grow it. Let it sprout. You'll never know what this idea can go, where this idea can go and what this idea can become. This is the conceive part of the Eve principle. So accept that idea. You may be thinking, and I'll tell you, you may be thinking, oh, this is not for me. Really? You have this idea. It is for you. You have to do something about it. The second one is believe in your idea. Most of the people don't go forward with their ideas, partly because they don't believe in them. What they do is they talk themselves out. Let me give you the nasty thoughts that come into my head. Oh, how are you good about this? Really? People wouldn't buy this stuff. And this is you talking to yourself. It's not even your family members. The family members are the next people. So instead of taking other thoughts, remove this thought out of this, out of your head and say, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to go forward. Now, this process doesn't happen overnight, right? It takes time. But give your idea the nurturing that it requires. Give your idea the breath, the soil, the love. Because when you plant a seed, it needs all of that stuff to grow, right? The mighty oak was once a nut. And that nut became a mighty oak because it was nurtured. The third thing you have to do is to achieve it. Achieve your goal. Your idea should not be dying with you. That's one thing. We talk about abundance in this. In this, this whole summit is about ab abundance. But the thing is, you never get to abundance if you don't achieve it. The idea is to execute your idea, implement and execute your idea to get to a point where you can now receive the profits, the, the blessings that you are meant to get from this idea. You know, everything around you, look around you right now. You are on a computer which has a camera, which has a mic, you may be casting it on a TV. Look, about 10 years ago, we didn't have casting on TV, but that was an idea that became something that every household has. You have an idea. You need to conceive it, believe it, achieve it, receive it. Several years ago, I had a friend who worked in a old people's home. And she told me once that I'm so tired of people dying. I am so tired of people having regrets. And I sat with a few of them. I went there to volunteer one afternoon and I spoke to one, uh, one or two people there. And I asked them, I said, what could you have, could you have done differently in your life? And this one man said, I had this wonderful idea, but I never implemented it. So I asked him, if you had 
the time right now, would you do it? So at first he said, I don't know if I have enough time. So I said, if we work with you, will you make it so that you can make this go into implementation and execute the idea you have? He was very, very uh, um, sarcastic about it because one, he was old, two, he was dying. And I said, you're going to die anyways. Why take this idea with you? So we talked to the family members and some of us got together. We worked on it and we created a prototype. This was a machine that could help older people to get into a bathtub. And he had this idea that he was sitting on it for 10 years. And now his son is heading this project and it has become a reality. This was exactly four and a half years ago. This man is still not dead. He's still waiting and he's put his life on hold. He's put his dying on hold so that he can take this idea and see it come through. All he did was talk to somebody. You never know who's out there that's tuned into you because whatever your idea is, somebody, there is somebody out there who needs it. I'm asking you to improve your life. I'm asking you to think in abundance. I'm asking you to take courage because we are always going to have fear, always. And think of fear as a shadow in your life. When you stand in the sun, you will have a shadow that's going to sit and stand beside you or under you. What you want to do is to stand at 12 o'clock every single time so the shadow is under you. It's never going to go away, but you got to take the first step. So take the first step. And here's my advice to you. If you ever feel like you're not good enough for your ideas and you don't want to take care of your Eve principle, what I'm going to ask you to do is take a cold shower. Here in Chicago, it's very cold. The cold showers actually hurt your body, but cold showers are proven to make your body alive again. It makes you feel like you're living again and take a cold shower and understand that you are here for a purpose and you want to change your life into an abundance mindset. Just implement the Eve principle, which is conceive, believe, achieve, receive. I thank you for this opportunity and I hope you take your dreams to the next level. Thank you so much. Audio jump.